In this video, we are discussing the differences in the newer batches of PDM Carlisle versus the older batches. I have an older batch here from around 2018, which is the 77% concentration of alcohol. And I also have a newer batch here from about a few months ago. I bought it about four months ago, and it is the 81% alcohol content. I did a video about a year ago reviewing the batch variations in Leighton. So the Leighton, I think, was the 78% to 82, and it was really popular. And I I think this video will also be really helpful for people who want to buy Carla because it's such a popular Puffins de Mali fragrance. Now I love the Kalao DNA because Kalao is a spicy apple with this beautiful sort of sweet smooth tobacco note even though tobacco is not a listed note it just comes across as a tobacco like scent and then you have patchouli in the dry down patchouli and vanilla what a great combination that is it's classy it smells expensive and you just smell like a very well put together gentleman when you wear it it's not youthful or playful or anything like that it's not really a clubbing fragrance it's just a very smooth and well-made fragrance that make you smell a million dollars so let's get on with looking at the older batch of Carlisle so I have sprayed these on test strip and on my hand as well. I sprayed them on my hand about two hours ago so I could really prepare for this video. Now this is the older batch of Carlisle, okay, from around 2018, 77% volume. It's a beautiful fragrance. It really is fantastic. You get the spicy apple opening. It's rich, but it's not harsh at all. It's rich, but smooth. Just smells ultra expensive and high quality. As it dries down, it becomes darker. It almost has this sort of mysterious quality and I really pick up on a patchouli note as it goes through the dry down it almost smells resinous as well so it's like this spicy balsamic patchouli with tobacco and sweetness from vanilla it's perfect and it really does turn complex and mysterious now what i love about the older batch of Carlisle here is you can really pick out the the individual notes if you keep smelling it you'd get the different facets go through like when you first smell it you can smell the spicy apple but if you hold your nose to your hand and you really try and pick out the different notes you can pick up the patchouli the resinous quality it just smells so dark and it is a beautiful fragrance this is a this this for me is like a, a night out fragrance and it's one that I always wear when I want to impress people. Like if I'm going to a wedding, any party, any night out with a lot of people, I'm dressing up nicely. I always go for Parfums de Mali Carlisle. They, even though I have lots of fragrances in my collection that do a similar thing like, you know, YSL Tuxedo, Tony Yomi Monkey Special by Xerjo, fantastic head turning, strong, sweet fragrances. For some reason, I always gravitate towards Carlisle because I love the confidence it gives me. And this old batch is perfect. It's smooth, it's sophisticated, and it smells very expensive. Lasts a long time as well. The performance on this is fantastic. It's a, a, it's a fragrance that lasts all day and does give you a solid bit of projection. This is the older batch of Carlisle, and now let's check out the newer batch. So when I'm testing out this newer batch, do remember that I'm trying to pick out the intricate differences between them. It's not going to be necessarily an obvious change. It's not going to be something that uh, a lot of people might notice. I'm trying to really pick out the differences to give you an educated opinion of which one you should buy. So this new one does still smell like Carlisle, okay? It still smells fantastic. It's still got that rich, uh, expensive smelling feel to it. But... It's more airy, okay? So it does smell a bit more airy. The vanilla is a bit more airy. It doesn't go as deep and as dark as the old batch we looked at. Now, that could be for a number of different reasons, which we'll talk about at the end of the video. But starting off straight away, it still smells like the beautiful Carlisle that we love. It just doesn't have that really rich, mysterious quality. Now, in the older batch of Carlisle, which is on this hand, I pick up on that patchouli note really strongly. The patchouli is strong and it has this resinous, sticky quality. It almost smells like thick and sticky, okay? Now, on the newer one, I don't get that. I don't pick up on the patchouli as much. I'm sure it's there, but it's not as strong. It hasn't got the stickiness, hasn't got the dark... Hasn't got, the, hasn't got the sticky feel, hasn't got the resinous feel that is in the older batch. So it, it's the resinous patchouli that I can't pick out as strongly in the newer batch versus the older batch. So it almost feels like the top notes stay for longer in the newer one versus the older one. Now what I love about the older batch of Carlisle is it smells like a niche fragrance. It smells almost quite raw. So like I said, you can pick out a lot of the different notes. It goes through the different characteristics of the fragrance from the opening, the mid, the dry down. And each time you smell it, you can pick out certain different areas of it, okay? You can smell the spiciness, the sweetness, the tobacco, lots of different things going on. Now in the newer one, it smells more 
uh, clinical, more professional, almost like it was made by a machine, if that makes sense. It almost just smells like very perfectly put together and it hasn't got as much depth to it. So for me, I can't pick out on the individual notes as much as I can in the old one. So after smelling these for a few hours now, I can really categorically say that the older one just goes, it dives deeper. It goes deeper into the whole fragrance journey. You just get more of a complex, complete fragrance. The new one stays more airy. It actually comes across more easy to wear. Perhaps it would suit you if you want a fragrance that is a bit more easy to wear than the older color, which does, come, does have some challenging qualities to it. But like I said, we are really looking at the intricate differences here and a lot of people might not notice the difference at all. It's still a lovely fragrance. I still really like this new color. It hasn't changed, hasn't changed a whole lot where you really notice it. I still get really good performance from the new one as well. So is it the alcohol content that has changed these or what? Well, it could be. The alcohol content has changed from like 77 to 81, but it's not necessarily gonna change the smell of the fragrance. They could have removed some of the fragrance oil. They could have removed some of the notes that are in here. I'm not sure what they've done, but it doesn't necessarily mean that that's the only reason why it smells different. Perhaps they reformulated it in a way just to take out something. Perhaps they wanted to make it easier to wear because the old one is very mysterious and dark, and perhaps they wanted to make it a bit more fresher and easier to wear. Performance is great on both of them. I haven't got any problems with the performance on the newer one or of course the older one. I think the older one would last longer, especially on things like clothes. If you spray it on a scarf or something or the collar around your jacket, I think the older one will last longer. Have you had any experience with Carlisle, the newer batch or the older batch? I'd love to hear from you. I still think the newer batch is worth to purchase because I still love it, but I would try it before you buy because you should try any fragrance before you buy, especially when they're over 250 euros like Carlisle is. I hope this video brought you some education and uh, I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon.